Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love reading for July 6th to the 12th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I am not doing personal readings at this time. However, I have a free reading contest. All the details will be at the end of this video, so stay tuned to the end. The Eye of Zen is finally up on Amazon.com. This is the deck we'll be using today. So, my darlings, we're going to be talking about your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. Let's go to my Libra Dramantic Love Life for July 6th to the 12th. What's going on my Libra's Romantic Love Life for July 6th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's switch cameras here, Libra. Also, Libra, please remember that these are general messages. So you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Libra, your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these, Libra, make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Also, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Uh, also, I have shuffled all the decks prior to starting the reading, so we can move forward here. And let's jump right in here. So, we're going to take the first three cards. Obviously, this is July 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So let me just tune in here, Libra. I feel like it's a central issue. There is definitely this sense of confusion, but I do feel like there's some light being shed on the situation. I feel like you guys don't realize that you have more power than you realize here. And there is this sense of prosperity because there will be a truth coming out here, being revealed to you. And, and it's going to be about a decision. Okay, let's keep going. So. Magician card energy for this day. What's going to happen in the day to day? Magician tells me you're going to have a sense that you have all the tools that you need. There's an ideal situation, okay? That you have power here. And that's an opportunity here with the key card kind of energy with the one. And we see what's happening on this day. It's strength, control. And let's see what else because of an opportunity key card. So we keep going here. So we see that you have this opportunity because you know you have the power here and there's, there's a sense of strength or control around this. And then 10 tells me family and long-term commitment. So there's a focus on family long-term commitment here on the 7th. And why is that there? Because you're overcoming these blockages and challenges. And it looks like you're going to be socializing, okay? There's going to be some kind of socializing happening here, which could cause some delays, blockages in your romantic love life. The socializing looks like it could be something to do with family or for some of you, it's something around money. So you have an opportunity to socialize with them. Okay. You have all the tools you need and there's a sense of completeness here with the 10 card energy there. The bear card can represent work or a boss, or it could be like a parent which is causing some blockages, delays, and challenges. It looks like there is a truth that's going to be revealed here on the 8th. The truth is something to do with ending, stopping, or completing, or taking a break. Because somebody is really obsessed with you. They have strong desires and strong attachments to you. So tuning in here, I feel like what's going on is there's this want to take control of things, which is causing a lot of blockages, delays, and challenges. And it looks like if I read it all the way across, strength and blockages, delays, and challenges end, stop, or complete something. So it looks like there's going to be an ending of these delays because there's an opportunity to socialize, to go out because of the fact that they're very attached to you. They are obsessed with you. It looks like there's an ideal situation here and it looks like there's something to do with family and long-term commitment and there's going to be a truth spoken about this. Now let's go further on this, Libra. What else do I need to know about Libra's romantic love life for July 6 to 12? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You're going to see some signs about this compatibility. Confusion here. What's the confusion about? Clouds card energy confirming again confusion. There are some heart to heart conversations taking place about the fact that there is confusion here. And it's to do with these delays, these challenges, and socializing and family and long term commitment. 
we see justice. It looks like on this day there's a sense of justice or a decision that's being made. Just choice, just decision. Obviously, Libra, that's your energy. And it looks like you're making the decision to heal some things here when it comes to this decision. So whatever is happening here, there's some kind of decision being made, which is very healing to you. Okay. And we see the next day here, we see that there's true love, a soulmate connection. What's that about? A person cards coming out. So there's a realization that there's this soulmate connection. And they're, they, you make them completely happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. So there is love here. And we see there's romantic gestures being taken here with the Knight of Cups energy. And again, we see there's love here. There's love and romantic feelings here. So Libra, look at that. There's this healing energy about this because you've had time to reflect on things. And you have an awareness now that there is feelings and love here. And there's, real, there's feelings that's real and worth exploring. And there's going to be communication about this. It's going to be revealed to you in a truth. Because you know what? There is obsessive energy, strong obsessive energy here. Okay, so let's take these cards away and just look at what we see here. We see at the central theme, you guys are going to receive a communication, heart to heart conversation. A conversation is going to take place about what? This opportunity to heal, going out and a conversation here about complete love. There is strong desires and strong attachments and they're really obsessed with you and they have romantic feelings for you. And we see there's a decision when it comes to this person. It looks like there was this sense of confusion, but the truth will be revealed to you about this opportunity. Okay, let's move these out of the way. All right, so now we're going to look at your love interest feelings, whoever that may be, whoever you turn this video for. Wow, okay. Let's see what else is going on here, Libra. Okay, world card energy, temperance card energy, the king of cups energy, two of swords or the crossroads card, the anchor card energy, and the house card energy. First, before we do that, let's look at your block chilies and challenges. Well, your block chilies and challenges seems like there's some potential for an opportunity of passion or some of you are really focused on for, well, Ace of Wands could be creative endeavors, passionate endeavors, right? Potential passion endeavors for some of you, since we saw the Ten of Pentacles energy, which can represent money. For others of you, it's because of this uncertainty of whether or not there's potential for passion here with the Ace of Wands energy. And there's something to do with a commitment to potential passion here and cutting away unhealthy things from the past or having to make some kind of abrupt decision about a commitment to engage in marriage and a potential passionate energy here, Ace of Wands. All right, so let's take a look at your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you wanna know about, and we're gonna sum everything up at the end. So if it seemed confusing with the day-to-day because -day, we're just examining the day-to-day, -day, the overall will give you exactly what's gonna happen for the whole week. So this person feels like they want to communicate with you about this indecision and they want to complete this, accomplish this, and they want things to come back around. This person feels like they may go through your friends to do this because they feel stuck and they've been patient about things for an equal give and take. This person has chemistry and passion with you and they do want a little bit more seriousness here with the house and family card because they do feel like you are, um, there is love and, and romance when it comes to you. So they, they love you and they have chemistry with you and they're looking for something serious here with that house card energy and something stable. And they want you to make some kind of choice because um, they're ready to take this to another level of commitment here. And they've been patient here and they feel like you're a wise decision when it comes to love and romance. All right, let's move this out of the way. And let's do the overall outcome now, Libra. All right, so the overall outcome, we got, wow, the Nine of Cups energy. The, uh, the Hierophant card energy and the Three of Pentacles. So what is it saying? It's saying that you're going to fulfill your desires because of a commitment to gain here. You're going to gain a lot here. You're going to work together. You can build a foundation. It looks like potentially for some marriage situation here with the High Priestess card energy. Excuse me, the... Um, Hierophant card energy. There's some confusion here happening. Obviously, we saw the moon card energy, but things will turn in your favor because things will be brought into balance with the balance card energy. We see that the confusion was something to do with arguments and disputes or hurt and pain, but a conversation will take place which will show you that things are moving in your favor. 
and we see that there's going to be improvements and changes here because things will be brought into balance and there's going to be a sense of gain here around your situation. And why? Because a marriage and long-term commitment or a stable relationship, which is going to give you a sense of joy and celebration here. And Knight of Pentacles, you're going to be moving into a very serious direction here. Yes, it's going to be a slow moving direction, but there's definitely going to be some construction here in completing some things in this situation, which will bring you joy. And let's keep going here. You're going to make a decision and you're gaining knowledge about this, about making an effort here. So when we saw that justice card energy, we saw that there was some kind of decision being made there. It was because you had to make a decision and you use your intuition or it was something you did in secret and because you decided to make the effort here because you felt like great loves were taking the steps you're guided to take. So you isolated yourself and separated yourself from the situation or something to do with single and available and there's something very hopeful about this, a positive outcome for you guys with the hopeful card. And you made a why you're going to be making a wise choice and a wise decision going further on this. You weighed your options with the two of pentacles or you're going to be weighing your options with the two of pentacles energy when it comes to this potential passion. And it looks like there was some sense of competition, arguments and disputes or challenges or some sense of change. So you made a choice. You're going to make a choice towards a potential passion. And then five card energy shows me there's some changes happening here. So going through this all the way, you were confused here because of this hurt and pain. And so you decided to make a decision about single and available to pursue. And you... Uh, because of this decision, things turn in your favor and you gained knowledge and it was very hopeful. Hopeful about the situation when it comes to your fulfillment of desires. The balance card tells me something was brought into balance in making the effort here because there was wisdom around that decision. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Obviously, this is only for the weekly, so if you guys want more information, you can always check out your monthlies, which are up and available right now for your sign. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And as far as the free reading contest, all you have to do is put love in the comments below. I'm going to be picking two people in the month of August via a video announcement on YouTube. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.